what we're going to be doing today is making scenes. So we need to add a object to our scene because this is going to be the main scene. This is going to be your main game. We're going to get in here and let's just model something really quick. Nothing crazy, just something for the camera to look at. Yeah, okay. It's kind of interesting, I guess. So, what we can do is press our Shift S, cursor to selected, add a camera, and then G, and then Z twice, pull back. That way the camera can look at it. We're going to add a little sun point so we can have some lighting in the scene, like so. And we'll give this a material so it doesn't blind us so bad. Maybe an earthy, earthy tone, a little bit more red. There we go. Pretty good. Move that camera. You're just saying, like, if you're making a 2D game or something, you got this little map here. Who knows? Little obstacles. But yeah, it's pretty cool. Now, what we want to do is add UI to it. Or, say, if you have HP, you need an ammo counter or anything like that, you're going to want a, a set of words going over the screen. And you kind of don't want those in your main scene because it gets all messy and it's a pain. So what we're actually going to do, click on the camera, and we're going to go over to Game Logic. After you're in Game Logic, go, you can select the camera, and we are going to add an Always, and we're going to also go over to the Actuator section and add Scene. So after we have a scene, we can connect the Always to the scene and change it from Restart, and we want to change this to Overlay Scene. After you have your overlay scene, we can see that we have a scene in here, but that is our scene right here. In fact, we can show this by naming this one Game. And then when we click on it, it'll say Game. And we want to overlay a different scene. So what we're going to do is we're going to go up and press this plus icon and hit New. And we're making a completely new scene. In fact, you'll want to come up and select Blender Render back to up BGE. I like to press 7, so we have a face down, we're pointing straight down at the plane. We're going to add a camera to the center, and it should be, this, it should be in the center by default. If not, you can press Shift S and then go cursor to center. So we're going to go into the camera, bring this camera up until it's probably, I like to go just above the grid here add a mesh in here like a cube or a plane or whatever you want and then you can make your UI like this or if you want you can also click on the camera and set it to orthographic view go to the orthographic scale and scale it up to like 20 or something like that in fact we actually need to go even higher and you can see that it'll just be a flat image orthographic just makes it a pure 2d image so it doesn't even matter if you have 3D objects. So we can scale that cube up. Let's make it, for the sake of this, let's just make a material, make it red, and then put it on shadeless because we don't want our uh, UI to have any shades. Otherwise, it'll just show up black if you don't have a sun in there or you get some weird gradients. So now that we have this, let's, add, let's call this UI. Then we can select our game so we get back to our game and add the overlay setting to UI. But now that it is all set up, if we press P to start the runtime, it shows up in our scene. You can see it behind all of my nonsense there, or the, frame, the frames and everything. So this is pretty cool. We got our, I guess you could call it a health bar in the background. And that's how you do simple scenes. And you can do more advanced stuff like making it so the HP bar actually uh, works. And I'm going to come out with a video showing how I do that in my, deb my debug video. But for this simple video, we're just going through scenes and how all the scenes work. So now that we have a simple game scene here, 
What if we want to make, uh, say, a game over scene? So we can actually click on our camera and go and add a, let's go keyboard, just for the testing phase. So we can add a K uh, for our input. And then we can come over here and add a scene. So we want to make it so uh, we make a game over scene. So we can add another scene, new, press seven, add a camera, go in, do the same thing as we did before, bring it up a little bit, and then add a, we can even just add text, press tab to edit text, and then we can type in game, oops, game over. And then you can just center that in the screen, scale it up, like so. And set it to a BGE, game over. And if you want, you can even go to the object tab in the properties and go down to object color. And let's just select red, because why not? So now we have a big old red, horrible looking game over sign. It's pretty good. In fact, because it displays a little bit to the side of where it actually is, you need to move it over a little bit, but game over. That's what we're going for. And then we can actually duplicate this, scale it down a little bit, center it a little bit more, even just a little bit more. There we go. So we got another game over. Let's type in restart. Oops. Restart. I can't spell. Start. Maybe it just didn't look like I could. Okay. So we got to restart. Let's make this color darker. Now you can barely see it because of the background, but that's fine. So we have a restart. What I like to do is click on that. Cursor to select it at a plane just above, like so. And then we can make this plane by going over to the physics, physics tab. Click invisible so when you start the game it doesn't show anything now make it a mouse mouse over and we're gonna go over to our game settings so put a game actuator in instead of a scene connect those together click on start game from file restart game keep pressing man it's just so if we press P and can't see our cursor that's kind of a problem so we want to go over to the camera click on the camera add a always and go over to the actuator and add a mouse and just leave it on visible so this will make it so the mouse cursor is always visible in this scene so you can see as i press play we have a mouse cursor now and we got game over and if we hover over restart and click it oh that's a problem so we are on mouse over, so it's restarting the game every time you mouse over. So what we want to do is click on our object that we mouse over. We have our mouse over tab. Add another mouse, connect it to the and, and just leave it on left button. So that means when we press play and we hover over, it will not restart until you click on it. And so if we go over to our game, so what you want to do is have the first one to be, in fact, what's this? Yeah, this is our overlay. So what we want to do is set scene, game, and then we want to add another scene. Connect the and to the scene again, and set this one to remove scene. We are going to remove our game. So now we can set scene as scene because we forgot to rename it. That's, that'll be fine for this test. So we set the scene as scene and then remove our game. So that way we don't have the game running in the background while we're in our restart scene. So when we press P and then we have we press K, it'll bring us to the game over scene. We can hover over restart, click on restart, and it'll start it again. We press K, restart, and it'll keep on going over and over like that. So say you're in a game, your HP bar goes to zero. It'll, you can set it to uh, do the same thing, go over to the game over scene and 
hit restart and it'll restart the whole game again. So that's just a pretty cool way to use scenes to uh, go through the UI and reset everything. So that's pretty cool. I think that's going to be it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hopefully it was hopefully it was helpful to you guys. Um, other than that, I think I'm going to go back, start working on the uh, debug video, and I guess I'll see you in another. Thank you for watching, and bye.